Hey guys, welcome back. Jefferson Santos here, International Marketing Director. Now we're talking about the next steps. We talked about how to earn your income back. Uh, we talked about how to build for momentum. We talked about how to get that director's bonus really fast in 90 days or less. And now we're talking about your next steps. And so I want to start with this. You have to become the CEO of your business. You have to decide that you're going to win right now. I mean, forget about the past. The past doesn't equal the future. It doesn't matter if you haven't been successful in anything you've ever done in your life. It doesn't matter right now. Okay, you join World Ventures, you're here watching a video, you're investing in yourself, and you want to get off to a fast start, and you want to know, okay, what's my next steps, okay? So, one of the first things you need to do, and you need to get this to your upline, your sponsor, your sponsor or your upline are people in the compensation plan above you that are financially interested in helping you, okay? You've got to get this list to them, is make a list of the top 10 things that World Ventures can help you achieve, Okay, that might be paying off your college tuition, that might be retiring yourself and or your parents, or bringing your spouse home, or whatever those top 10 things are, make them juicy too, and, um, and just really like play your favorite music, eat your favorite food while you're doing it, like make it a fun thing. And also, if you're married, if you have a significant other, sit down with them and do this together, because it's really important that you have people that are gonna support you. Okay, that are going to be there in your household that know what you're doing. If you're just popping out the presentations all the time and disappearing and they don't know what you're doing and what you're working towards, they might have an adverse, adverse reaction to that. So involve them in this process so they know, even your kids, they know why you're doing this. They, they, they want to go to Disney World too and involve your family in the goals and, and, and those types of things. That's very, very important because we always hit a wall, whether it's three weeks into it, a week into it, a three months into it, whatever it is, we hit a wall and it's important for us as your upline to help you through that valley, valley. Okay. And we need to know and remind you why you're doing this, because the reason why people quit, I'll just be right up front with you is because they lost sight of the vision. They disconnected from what it is they wanted to, to do in the first place. And what happens is what clouds that vision is the nose they hear, is maybe the social awkwardness or something because maybe their best friend didn't want to do it. Who cares? Your best friend doesn't pay your bills, okay? It's, 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 it's kind of like an IQ test, and I'm kind of joking here, but if they don't see it, they don't see it. Who cares? You're going to go live free. You're going to go build this business, earn residual income, travel around the world, and join all of us doing it, and let them go pay full price. Let them watch your photos on Facebook while your photos are haunting them that they should have been there, right? And that's how it works, right? So write down those things so we know why you're doing this so we can help you get it, all right? And so here's the thing. Our mind is a whiteboard. Your new person's mind is a whiteboard. And the key thing is we want to write on there fast, like really fast. Like it's, it's fast as fun, slow as painful. And that's what's really important because let's say you're, you're, you know, you've never driven a car before. You're getting onto a highway, right? There's no speed limit signs. There's no other cars on the highway. You don't know like the speed, right? So how fast are you going to be going onto the highway? Probably not that fast. Okay. And so it's important to know that you have to go this fast. You have to tell your people, let's go fast. Let's get your six immediately. All those types of things, because the natural, so not everybody, but the natural speed is slow. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll talk to my friends next week or whatever. Part of the slowness is because they're unsure. They're a little bit scared. They can't believe they, they don't believe they can do it. All those things. I'm telling you, you can cut through a lot of that fear or all of it just by action and getting into it. Make sense. All right, cool. So Here's what you gotta do. You gotta make a list of your top 10 VIPs and then um, expand that to your top 200. Now, that might sound like a lot of names. Listen, here's the thing. If your list is strong, your posture is strong. If your list is long, your posture is strong. If your list is short, your posture is weak. So what do you wanna have? A strong posture, right? But your top 10 to 20 VIPs are very, very important and I kinda repeat it in some other videos earlier is those people that make quick decisions, that want to have fun, they, they're money motivated, they're, they're fun motivated, those types of people, let's show those people immediately, okay? And then make that list of 200 names as you're doing it. You're always adding people to your list. And here's how you don't add people to your list. Don't go like this. Mm, ah, no, you know, no, mm, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 that person. No, just go like this. Keep on writing it down. Keep on writing, keep on, don't, don't just look at your cell phone and scroll through names. No, you, get, you look at your cell phone as a memory jogger, but put those names on a piece of paper. Put those names in a spiral. You can always go through it, cross it off, make notes, whatever. That's important to do that, all right? And so now, these 200 people are the list that's always growing because you're always gonna be adding people to it. It's not, it's not like these people are gonna make you a gazillionaire. They're not. Some of them are gonna say yes, some of them are gonna say no. 
And so it's not a, it's, it's, it's about the ones that say yes. And then they introduce you to their networks and things like that. Because for me, I'm going to save you seven years of heartache right now. You ready? You ready? Okay. I thought that my list was supposed to get me to the top. And that's not true. Your list doesn't get you to the top. Not your personal list, that is. It's the list. And as you work that list, it's the people they introduce you to and so on and so forth. And so some of those people are build throughs, not build with. Okay, so what I'm saying is if you want to get all the way to the top, you got to work through the contacts on your list. Does that make sense? And even if somebody tells you no, say, great, no problem. Do you know anybody that's looking to make extra money? Do you know anybody that likes to travel and or wants to earn their trips? And so don't be shy to ask for referrals, okay? And I mean, that's how Eric Allen got introduced to James Lee. Is Eric Allen's friend said no. He said, hey, well, who do, you, do you know anybody that's looking for something? And he said, yeah, I know a guy named James Lee in Singapore. They hooked up on Skype and away they went, right? And so always ask for referrals. So make that list, VIPs, 200 names, good to go, okay? Now, here's what you don't do. Do not email blast, okay? Don't go, oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all my friends in a list. I'm gonna go, oh my God, just join this travel thing and you gotta join me in the video. Don't do that. See, if that worked, the company wouldn't need us that the company would just blast emails all the time and, and just sign up members all the time. They wouldn't need an independent sales force. Does that make sense? So email blasting doesn't work, all right? Here's something else that doesn't work. Posting on your Facebook wall how great World Ventures is and putting your link, okay? That's not what you wanna do, okay? You don't go, oh, I just joined this great travel club. Here's the video. Here, sign up in my travel club. That's not how it works. Once again, World Ventures would just do that on Facebook and run ads all the time if that worked, does that make sense? So once again, that's not something, and I, and, I, and I know I know for some of you, it might seem a little weird that I'm showing this, but seriously, there are people that get so excited. They're on Facebook and they're all of a sudden, they just like, they start typing stuff out and they didn't realize this. Here's what Facebook is an, is an area for. It's to build relationships, right? What you're gonna post on Facebook is photos of you having fun, photos of you with the you should be here sign and all that type of stuff, making your life interesting. So when your friends are seeing what's going on on Facebook, they're going, Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow, they went on this trip and that trip and they're having fun at this event and all these different things. That's what you want people doing. Look at Facebook like a barbecue, right? You don't want to be the guy or the gal coming out with a trench coat going, hey, I got gold watches. I got gold chains for sale. What's up? Like, you, you don't want to be that person. That's what people do. Like these amateur network marketers and these amateur professionals, not amateur professionals, amateurs, uh, they, they think they're doing a, a huge marketing genius by just posting stuff on Facebook. No, it's the same simple. You use Facebook to build a relationship, then they inbox you, then you take it offline. If they're local, you meet with them for coffee or lunch or something like that, show them the DVD, and then uh, and start working with them there. Does that make sense? All right, cool. Now, your prospects are neutral. You either turn them on or you turn them off by what you say. Okay, so your prospects are looking at you, determining whether or not they wanna do what you're doing. Okay, so a couple, couple of uh, uh, illustrations of that. If you get on the phone for three hours and you're trying to convince your friend to join World Ventures, what do you think they think they have to do? They think they have to convince their friends, okay? So everything you do, you need to do through the filter of duplication, not just what works. It might work. If you're like a, a, you know, a slick silver tongue, like you can convince anybody to do anything, that's cool and you might get a lot of signups, but what's gonna happen is they're gonna cancel a week later because they, they feel like they got convinced or they just don't feel in their gut that they wanna do it. See, the key thing is to show people and if they wanna do it, we work with them. We don't need to convince people to have fun, make money and make a difference, right? All right, so your profit, or prospects are neutral. Now, there's things that you say they can turn them off. There's things that you could say like, I need your opinion. Okay, when you say I need your opinion, it kind of opens the door for them to, to wear those jaded, jaded color glasses to kind of poke holes through it. Or you say things like, I've got this business opportunity for you. That turns people off. It's like a red flag in their head. Um, say, hey, I just got involved in this thing. Nobody wants to get involved in things, okay? Or, hey, I want this, I want to invite you to this meeting. Okay, first of all, people go to meetings all day at work. They don't want to go to another meeting, okay? If you want to say something, you want to say something like, hey, I got this get-together I'm going to, this dinner I'm going to. I got some uh, very successful million, local millionaires that I want to introduce you to or some sex, successful entrepreneurs that I want, you to, I want to introduce you to. I got a product I'm working with them on and I want to bounce some ideas. What, th those are things that you could say, but you don't want to get into things that are red flags, okay? Does that make sense? Um, you don't want to say, oh, I just got involved in this travel club. You should come see it because... Um, 
they might have had a bad experience with a timeshare or travel club in the past or something. Once again, you want to use the words that we tell you, and we're going to, about to get into those here in just a, a few seconds here. All right, so let's talk about the invites. Now, for me, I do a lot more texting. Uh, I guess 50-50 texting and talking as well. And obviously, there's, there's people in both camps that text and also talk. And so let's start with texting. And texting is very, very simple. Okay, so I'm just going to go through some examples here. And by the way, you can kind of freeze frame the video anytime you want to, press pause and you know write these things down if you want, or you can rewind the video or whatever. So once again, these are training videos for you and I want you to play them as much as possible so this thing gets ingrained in your brain, all right? So here we go, a simple text. Are you free for coffee this week? Okay, they're probably gonna reply back. Sure, what's up? Say, listen, I got some ideas I wanna bounce off of you. Okay, great, let's meet at four o'clock or get a time, right? You'll probably bounce back a few times to get a time and then, but they need to know that you're gonna bounce a couple of ideas off of them, okay? Because the worst thing for you to do is invite them to coffee and all of a sudden you show up with one or two other people to ambush them with the laptop and all this stuff. Like, just be normal. Like, one of the things that's funny about this business is that people will, they, they know how to invite their friends to movies and dinner and they do so such a great job because we've been doing it our whole life. But all of a sudden we get into World Ventures and it's weird. It's like all of a sudden like this, we have this thing sticking out of our eye. It's like now we're in World Ventures and it's all weird. You know, it's like we don't know how to invite. It's like, uh, you know, it's like just be normal. Act like you're not in World Ventures and just invite your friend to coffee. However, just mention that, hey, got a couple ideas I want to bounce off of you. Very simple. Just be normal. All right. Okay, here's some other ones. Uh, hey, when are you going to be by a computer for 30 minutes today? Uh, call, me when, uh, call me when you are. I have something big I'm working on. Okay, once again, that's something you can do with several people all across the country, right? And so, and then when they're in front of the computer, they're going to text or call you back. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get them um, onto the video. Now, the next video that I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about, okay, now you set the appointment, now what? So I'm going to get in the verbiage of what to say once you call them, and now you're going to get them to watch the video. What are the few words that you say to kind of set them up properly and frame them up properly to watch the video to get best results for you? I'll talk about that in the next video, but just kind of wrapping up here on what to say is, okay, here's some other ones. Hey, happy na happy hour tonight? And they say, sure, cool. So then you, know, you meet them at happy hour. And you say, listen, I've got something big I'm working on, but let's not talk here about it. You know, let's get together this week. So what you've done is you've kind of planted the seed and you took it away. They're expecting you maybe to kind of talk about it at happy hour. Don't get into that. See, it's not about you pouncing on people. It's not about you selling. Okay, yeah, part of this business is selling, but it's not what you think. It's not selling them on World Ventures. It's really selling them on time to meet with you. It's selling them on the future that they can have, right? That's what we're really selling, okay? Or, the, or selling them on the person that they could be, right? And, and, uh, and so that's what you want to do there. Now, also on calling, okay, here's something else. Are you free for lunch, okay? Uh, I got a huge product I'm, I'm working on. I need your direction on, okay? I think direction is a really, really great word versus opinion because direction means you're already moving, you're already moving forward. Opinion is kind of, I'm not sure. I'm kind of testing the waters. I'm, I'm poking my toes in. It does, you don't sound really sure of yourself uh, when you're saying opinion. So I would kind of strike that word from your vocabulary. I would say direction. I need your direction on something. All right, cool? Great. All right, so your chicken list. We all have it. It's people that we respect uh, a lot and we want to show them World Ventures. We know that if they signed up, they could blow this thing up and really bring in a lot of members, possibly, okay? Okay. Um, but uh, what do you say to them? Well, you ask for help, okay? You don't, here's what you don't do. You don't try to be like, hey, have I got a deal for you? You, know, you don't try to be all like that because they'll see right through you because they, in their minds, they're already more successful than you. So you need to humble yourself, okay, and ask for their help, okay? And so here's uh, some words to say. Uh, I know you're busy and I really respect you. I have a huge project and I was wondering if I can take you to lunch and get your direction on what we're doing, okay? So if I'm calling uh, my buddy Rob Campbell and... Uh, I call him up and I say, hey, Mr. Campbell, you know, we met at church or we met this or whatever. And I said, listen, I really respect you. I almost didn't call you because I know how busy you are. But hey, listen, um, we're going to project I'm real excited about. What if I could take you to lunch, kind of pick your brain? Maybe you can point me in the right direction. Could you help me out? Sure. Like, that's it. And so when you ask a, a successful person for help, most of the time, if they're truly successful, they say, well, sure, I'd love to help because they know what it takes to be successful. They know they got the nose. They got, they went through the rejection. They went through the learning curve that they went through. And so when they are successful and somebody else is trying to be successful, they're willing to, to, to lend a hand. They're willing to say, you know what? Sure. I'll help you out. I'll give you some advice. Right? And so the point is, is you got the appointment. The point is, is you got in front of them, you showed them the video 
And then at the end of the video, you're like, hey, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? All right, do you know anybody? Uh, is there anything, um, do you know anybody that would like to do something like this? They might go, well, I would. <laughs> I mean, if they're smart, I'm sure they would, right? Or they might give you some referrals. Either way, it's not definitely not a wasted appointment. Plus, that person on your chicken list, that's a win for you. You got that appointment, you showed them the presentation, you, that you did what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to convince them, you're there to show them. Now they know that you're in World Ventures. And now, if, even if they say no and they're not ready just yet, sometimes no just means no, not right now, right? So, hey, do you mind if I keep you updated? on what's going on with me. Oh, sure. So every time, you, every Sunday you see him at church, every time you see him around, you give him some updates. Hey, I just got back from Cabo. Oh, hey, I just got back from a cruise. Hey, by the way, I just got back from 10,000 uh, 10, people event that we did in Fort Worth, Texas. You're always kind of dripping on them. And eventually what happens is, and this has worked for me for many, many years, is at some point they're like, uncle, uncle, okay, I'm, re I'm ready to sign up. I'm ready to go. That's what happens if you're out there going forward, aiming for your goals and being consistent about your business, okay? Because what's gonna happen is some people are sitting on the sidelines and they're kinda of looking at you going, all right, well, I, I like it, but I wanna see how they do. And that has no bearing on, what, on how they're gonna do. They could be su successful or not based on whatever you do, but they're just kinda of waiting. They're letting you be the guinea pig. So guess what, prove them. Go prove it out, go make it happen. And guess what, all the people that told you no, that's when you build your second leg and your other legs with the nose. And I'm telling you, I've done that many, many times. A lot of our leaders have done that as well. All right, so last thing I wanna wrap up with is investing yourself. I mean, here's the thing. The people that go to our events, it's proven in our database at World Ventures, they earn three times more money than people that don't go to events. And so I, my, my hunch is you're watching this video because you wanna be successful and you would probably like to earn three times more money, right? Yeah, and it's not just you, it's your team. You wanna get not only you and your, your team there, but helping them get their teammates there. And so the reason why I've got, you know, hundreds of thousands of people on my team is because I get paid to be a broken record. All I do is I enroll people, I work with them, I help them build their team, and I promote the next event. And I make sure they get to the event, and at that event, we're celebrating, we're having fun, we're high-fiving, we're getting recognized, and guess what we do? They all get the light bulb. I got it, I gotta get people to the event. So what do we do? We go to the next event. Okay, so here's what you gotta do next. Find out when the next regional event is, okay, in your local area or nearby that you can drive to or whatever. And if it's not drive, fly there. Just make a commitment to yourself and your business. Number two, find out when the next major event is. Okay, whether that's momentum, convention, uh, boot camp, or the view, find out when that is and where that is and book your ticket for that. Because if you truly want to make it in this business, you need to invest in yourself. A $60,000 person cannot make $600,000. Okay, you ha your income follows your personal growth. So if you wanna win, invest in yourself. And in the next video, I'm gonna be talking about, okay, now you set the appointment, you're there on the phone or in person with your prospect, and now you're about to show the video. What do you say and how do you set that up, all right? So we'll see you on the next video.